Okay, I want to show you how I'm making my one inch strips. I'm taking my, uh, my cutter here and I'm putting my scrapbook paper in here and I'm kind of on the one inch mark to make my, make sure you go all the way through. one inch strips and then I take them and I put them together so I can cut two at a time and in my cutter I just put it on the one inch mark make sure it's up against this it's on the one inch mark and then I have my little one inch pieces after you get that I'm just gonna fold over of the corners so you'll take this and you're going to fold all of your petals first and you're trying to get them straight just like that and you have your pile here of your corners and then here are the rest of them that I, uh, I will fold. Okay, I have my egg. These eggs are so cute. Look at these. And I made it, I made this pine cone too. This is with fabric. I'll be doing a video on that. And then I just did this new one last night. I have a video on this particular one in another video. So what we're going to start with, so I took my one inch squares and I turned down. This one I kind of messed up so I'm going to put this one on my very bottom. And what you're going to do is find your center. You're going to kind of mark your center. Say there. But then I would i I'm gonna start pinning these. First I'm gonna get some glue. Take put a little bit on my glue on my pin. So I'm gonna kinda Get all four of these corners right on that end. I'm going to take the next one. Okay. Get my pin with glue ready. Here is my next one. And I'm going to have them touching. This little Allen wrench that I'm using to two of them. And the next one, I'm going to Okay, so I have all those put down. I'm going to continue. I'll show you how to do this first one and then I'll show you, then I'll show you how to do this one. Turn this first one down. You don't have to worry about these. If you want, you can put a little dab of glue, but you're not gonna have to worry about it. As soon as you start putting the petals on here. It's 
all gonna be done in fours. Okay, and that's gonna be your tip. See, like you see these, the tip, see, there's the tip down there. Actually, one goes on each side. And there's the first one. And then I'm going to work, make sure you get these even too. I'm going to work directly across from that. Put my next one in. Here's some of my pins. Straight across. Be right there. See one, two, and then you'll do three. Four. So I'm going to put these next two on and I'll be back. Okay, you can see I got four on here. One, two, three, four. And now you're going to do four more. One, two, three, four. So it's always fours. This one you're going to kind of put down a little bit. I'm gonna put it a little bit past the first ones. So this is gonna be the inside. Go around and do all three more. It starts looking funny until you start getting seeing a pattern going. So I have one, two, three, and I don't have this one. See, so you can tell when it's not done. You got to cover up that corner. on there now. Now the next ones will go right here again. And what you're going to do now is let's say about a quarter of an inch from the this tip. Now I'll put four more. One, two, three, four. So it's just four on each row. 
and you're going to line make sure the petals are lined up I'll show you with one of my other ones Looks like pretty soon you'll start seeing that see how these are lined up you can tell with these because it's two different colors this one's not so much that you can tell but you're giving yourself a space in between each one and you can see your space so you have rows same thing here you just can't see them as well so here's one two and then i'll go completely on the other i like to do opposites completely on the other side give yourself the same amount of space I could do a row of black too. I might on my other one. I don't know. I haven't decided. Have not decided. So there's two. Now here's three. Here's this one in here. And you kind of can't see that good. Now you can see you got a space here, you got this one, this one, this one. So here you're gonna go like that. Just gonna keep the uniform of them going. Keep going around like this. Okay, you can see it's getting there. I'm almost to the end. It's kind of good to know what kind of um, hanger you're gonna put on it. It's getting close, you gotta have the hanger. Here you can see I kind of made a little spacing. See the space between there and there? It's kind of a little bit off, but that's okay. You won't even notice after it gets on there, but it's better if they're uniform. But see, it's just fours. One, two, three, four, see the four? And then you do four more on these spaces. One, two, you just go around and keep putting your spaces on. And then you get these rows. So you want these tips to be kind of straight too. See that? Okay, I decided, I wasn't sure. Here is the white one. Here is the black sparkly, and here is the silver sparkly. I think I'm gonna go with, I think white. What do you think? Okay, I wanna show you. I picked the white sparkly. This is the outside, this is the inside. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center on here and pin it. So I'm gonna put two wrong sides together and I wanted a kind of a long hanger or probably a hook of a quarter of an inch what I'll do is I'll put them like this and I'm gonna pin them and glue them right here so I'm gonna put some glue under here and then I'm gonna pin them and I'm gonna lay this down and then I'm gonna put my petals over this I'll show you this I got that one there. I'm going to take another pin. See if that hangs. Hangs right. 
Yes, I like it. Now I'm going to take and put some glue under here. If I had my hot glue gun on, I would just hot glue it real quick. So I'm just going to put some glue under there. And then fix this. I'm going to put this in front of my camera. So it's just laying flat. So now I can continue. See how it's all on there? And what I'll do, my next petal is going to go right here. I'm going to line up these. Go right here. And it's going to start covering these. if you're using harder paper a thimble to throw those in there and these straight pins come on this paper so it's good to have a bunch of them off just don't get them in your carpet so keep putting these around let's see this one's over here See the open space? And I'm going to kind of line them up. Even if these aren't even up here, it's okay. Nobody's going to see that part. Just keep putting these in. Next one will be right here. This one's going to go up a little bit more just because of the space between these. It's okay. Nobody's going to see that part. I haven't decided if I'm going to put gold leaves on these. I think I'm going to find some white. Okay, that one's done. So there's a space. That one's done. This one's done. Another pin coming off for some reason. Let's put a little glue under there. There we go. Okay, so now this one has a row. There's the row. So I got four. Now I'm going to this one. I'm going to this row. that one. Some of these, when you're folding them, they got kind uh, of messed up because you tried a few times, so kind of save those for the insides.
I got this secured so it's drying with pins on both sides so it's nice and even when it's hanging and I just kept going around with my petals and I got rows of petals. See the rows? Aren't they so cute? They're so cute. So cute. I found some of this greenery in my closet, of course I did, and some of this, um, I don't know what this is called, some kind of berries, I love it. And I just cut off a piece and hot glued it around the edges and put, I, it came off in fours, but I put five, it's always better to have an odd number. Here's my newest one I just made. And there you go. Look how cute this is. It turned out so cute. Let me show you. 